as the sun begins its inexorable sink towards the west. Um, a German fellow who came on safari and his camera bag consisted of a number of plastic bags. Now you all know that it is completely impossible. You've all tried to eat potato chips quietly. It's not possible. You've all tried to pull things out of plastic bags quietly and it simply isn't possible. Anyway, we were at a leopard sighting. There was a leopard in the tree above us and it wasn't very relaxed. It was quite nervous and it had sort of climbed up a tree. I'd parked under the tree not knowing where its kill was and the leopard came towards us and then went up into the tree and then then only did we notice the kill and I'd parked um, closer than I would have if I'd known that it was been, had been in the tree. Anyway, this fellow then began to take his camera equipment out of these plastic shopping bags and the leopard did not enjoy the sound of the crinkling packets and it started to growl. So I turned round and I said, oh, sorry, um, Hans, uh, could you, could you just, shh, just, you know, just, just be quiet. And I put my, my finger to my lips and the rustling ceased and then it began again. And the leopard began to go, and I said, Hans, please stop that. But I want to take a picture of the leopard. So I said to him, yes, but the leopard is cross. You can't make a noise. You need to be quiet. Yeah, he says. Silence. Leopard relaxes, begins to eat. And then the inexorable wrapping of the, or the rustling of the papers began again. And the leopard stood up and went, oh, like that it us. And Hans went, <coughs> dropped all his things. And I said, oh, stop it. Put it down and don't move again. And he looked at me like this and he said, but I want to take a picture of the leopard. And I said, well, the leopard doesn't want you to take a picture of her. And we left. Now, this poor fellow, of course, was paying for my company. But you have to be like that sometimes, otherwise people will get themselves into quite a lot of trouble.